Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So let's talk about divisibility rules of 12. So of course, 12, what's 12 divisible by? It's of course divisible by two, it's divisible by four, it's divisible by three, it's divisible by six, and then, you know, we got one and 12 in the mix as well. But these are really important, okay? We're gonna focus on these numbers. Now, if something is divisible by four, it's divisible by two. If something's divisible by six, it's divisible by three. So let's focus on the divisibility rules for four and six in particular. Now, six is an interesting one because it's two and three, two times three. So if something is divisible by six, it needs to have the properties of two and three together. Now, to be divisible by two just has to be even, but to be divisible by six, it has to be, or sorry, to be divisible by three, excuse me, all the digits have to add up to be a multiple of three. But here's the beauty of, of these numbers. When you add zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine together, it equals 45. That's already divisible by three. So we're kind of covered for that rule. So I don't have to worry about the six really because it's going to inherently be divisible by three if I use each of these digits exactly once. So really all I have to think about is being divisible by four. Now, what's the divisibility rule for four? All we care about is that the last two digits are a multiple of four, okay? Or some some multiple of four, et cetera. So like it could be four, it could be eight, it could be 16, it could be 24, et cetera. So since I wanna make the largest possible number out of these 10 digits, I wanna use the smallest possible numbers down here to m get some sort of multiple of four. I know I'm gonna use zero in one of them. So let's pretend we're gonna put the zero in the one spot. Now, of course, it'd be great if I could put a one here, right, and just have a 10 there, put the two smallest numbers there, and we're good to go. But the problem is 10 is, of course, not divisible by four, but 20 is. So I'm gonna put two and zero right there. Now, how do we place the rest of the digits? Well, again, I want the biggest number possible. So I'm gonna take the largest digit and throw that at the front, nine. Then I'm gonna put the eight, then the seven, six, five, four, three, Two is already there, so we got one here, and this is our number. Putting in the commas so we can see it a little bit more easily, we've got 9,876,543,120. That's how you do it. Done.